If you're confused about whether you should buy HeyGen or not, you're in the right video. I've used this tool every single week for the last six months for actual client projects and content I put out on my faceless YouTube channels. And today, I'm going to tell you what's good, what's frustrating, and the one thing that almost made me cancel my subscription. So this is not a sponsored hype video. This is my real experience of six months boiled down into six minutes. And hey, if at any point you feel like checking it out for yourself, I've dropped the link down in the description. Feel free to explore while you watch. Now to keep it simple for you, I've narrowed down my entire six month journey into six things I actually liked more than I thought I would. But two downsides you really need to know about and one honest conclusion based on how it fit into my actual workflow. If you're a creator, freelancer, coach, or business owner who's juggling content but doesn't want to waste time or money, this might seriously help you out. Let me start with something most people totally overlook, which is just how much this tool actually gives you. I thought Hagen was just a talking avatar tool, but when I dug in, I realized it's way more than that. You've got AI avatars, sure, but not just one or two, dozens of them. You can pick by tone, age, gender, even setting. Then there's multi-avatar scenes, where you can have conversations between two presenters. You can upload your own voice and it'll sync the lips. They recently added screen recording where your avatar appears over the screen like a live presenter. You can change aspect ratios for social, business, mobile. All that stuff is baked in. Honestly, if you've ever used three or four different tools to make content script writers, voiceovers, video editors, subtitles, Hagen combines all of it. And that's what surprised me. I wasn't expecting this much. It's like they quietly built a full stack video solution without screaming about it. So if you're building tutorials, course content, sales videos, social reels, or even just branded explainers, this one tool might actually be all you need. And the one thing I need from you is just a warm like. Now, the biggest change for me personally was the time I got back. Like, I didn't go into this expecting some miracle productivity boost. I figured I'd save 10 minutes here or there, whatever. But, oh man, I was wrong. The first time I made a Hagen video and realized it took me 20 minutes start to finish, it blew my mind. That same video, pre Hagen, would have taken me three hours setting up lighting, recording, editing, exporting. And that's not including retakes or burnout. So if you've been putting off video creation because it's just too time consuming, this will absolutely change that. I started publishing consistently because I wasn't overwhelmed anymore. You write the script, pick the layout, click render, and it's done. It sounds too good to be true, but if you've got a message to get out there, this removes all the roadblocks. But the million dollar question is still this, what about the voices? Because let's be real, audio is 90% of any video. Look, I've tried AI voices before and they usually sound like a robot's cousin. So I had low expectations. But then I heard one of the Heygen voices and thought, wait, did I accidentally upload a real voice? No joke, some of the voices here sound real. Not perfect, but definitely good enough to fool most people. I sent a client a demo using the AI voice and they responded like I'd narrated it myself. And the best part is you can pick voices with different accents, tones, and even emotion like happy, calm, serious. So if you're camera shy or hate your own voice, this solves that problem instantly. You can still get your message out without ever touching a mic. That freedom, that's huge. Now you might be wondering, hey Harry, what are the downsides? Well, here's where I hit my first real frustration, the editing. I'll be straight with you. If you love tweaking things frame by frame, adding complex motion graphics, animating every detail, Hey Gen isn't built for that. It's more of a structured system. You write, you choose a layout, and you roll with what it gives you. There's not much room to get overly creative inside the tool. At first, this annoyed me. I wanted more control, but, but eventually I realized that limitation actually saved me because instead of fiddling for hours, I was done and published. So yeah, if you're a perfectionist who loves deep control, this might not be your dream editor. But if you're more focused on speed, efficiency, and just getting things out, it works like a charm. But wait, doesn't all that simplicity mean the videos end up looking kind of cheap or generic? Surprisingly though, even with those limits, the final videos actually look really good, like way better than I expected. I thought they'd look fake or low effort, but the avatars are smooth, the cuts feel natural, and the design templates look modern. I've used these videos in emails, landing pages, even client decks, and not once has someone said, this looks cheap. Quite the opposite, actually. If you're not a video editor and have no design background, Hagen makes you look like you hired a pro. And that makes a huge difference when you're trying to build trust with clients or followers. You come across as polished even if it only took you 25 minutes. Now this next part genuinely shocked me. I didn't plan to use Hagen for client delivery. I thought, yeah, I'll use it for my stuff, but no way would a client approve this. But guess what? I tried it and they loved it. I made a quick product walkthrough for a SaaS client using Hagen and they replied with one word, perfect, no revisions. 
and that's when I realized this tool isn't just good for internal stuff or social, it's actually deliverable quality. If you're a freelancer or agency owner, you can turn this into an actual client solution. Use it for pitch videos, onboarding content, explainer reels you'll get faster, turn around and higher margins without working overtime. That said, there was a moment I remember this clearly when I almost canceled my plan. Not because the tool didn't work, but because I felt boxed in. I like precision. I like editing word by word, frame by frame. And Hagen doesn't let you do that. But over time, I realized that I was the problem, not the tool. I was letting perfectionism kill my momentum. And Hagen kind of forced me to get out of my own way. It was like, here's your script, here's your voice, click go. And honestly, I've never published more consistently in my life. So if you struggle with overthinking or you keep restarting projects because they were not perfect, this tool might actually help you break that cycle. And let's quickly talk about pricing because I had serious doubts here. I assumed it would be one of those platforms with confusing credits or hidden charges. You know the type, oh, you used up your 500 words, now pay more. But no, Hagen is super clear. You pay monthly, you know exactly what you get and there's no weird limitations unlimited videos, no export charges, no credits to manage. That alone made it feel worth it. If you're building content regularly, not having to think about budget every time you hit export is a relief. So yeah, that's it. That's my six month journey wrapped up into eight brutally honest points. I didn't expect to keep this tool. I didn't expect to love parts of it, but here we are and it's still part of my content stack. It saves me time, it saves me stress. It makes me look polished, even when I'm filming in a hoodie at 11 p.m. It's not for everyone, but if you value consistency and simplicity, it's 100% worth checking out. The link's in the description if you want to try it out. Again, no pressure, I'm, I'm not pushing it, just sharing what's been working for me. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments. I'll answer as honestly as I reviewed. Catch you in the next one.